Hello viewers, Attorney Buado here. Welcome to the Criminal Law Jurist. This is Episode 4, Characteristics of Penal Law. Every time Senator Pacquiao fights abroad, the national anthem is sung before his fight. Do you know that usually the singer violated RA 8491? and acted on February 12, 1998 that penalizes singing Lupang Hinirang in a style different from the arrangement of Julian Felipe. The penalty for the violation is fine from 5,000 to 20,000 pesos or imprisonment of not more than one year or both. Can the singer be sued in our courts? No, because the territoriality characteristic does not allow prosecution of crimes committed outside the Philippines with very few exceptions. So what are the three characteristics of criminal law? They are generality, territoriality, and prospectivity. For easy recall, Generality is as to persons, territoriality is to place, and prospectivity is to time. Generality refers to the persons covered by penal law. Penal law shall be binding on all persons who reside or sojourn in the Philippines, whether citizens or not, according to the Civil Code. On what is this characteristic based? One is on Article 3, Paragraph 1 of the Constitution on Equal Protection of the Law, and two, Article 14 of the Civil Code, which provides in part that penal law shall be obligatory upon all who live or sojourn in Philippine territory subject to the principles of public international law and to treaty stipulations. Therefore, if an American citizen kills a Filipino citizen, he will be prosecuted. But if it is an ambassador of the United States who commits the crime, he is exempt from criminal liability because of public international law and treaty stipulations. What international law and treaties protect diplomats and heads of states? First is par in parem non habet imperium, which means equality among states. Two, state immunity from suit under the Vienna Convention. This will be taken up when we discuss Article 2 of the Revised Penal Code. For now, let us focus on the characteristics of penal law. Second characteristic, prospectivity deals with the time when penal law shall be applicable. Prospectivity means that penal law shall have future application only, except laws beneficial to the accused, whether convicted or not, and whether serving sentence or has appealed. In contrast, irretrospectivity means laws shall not have retroactive effect. This is a negative way of stating the prospectivity characteristic. What is the basis of this characteristic? Article 21 and 22 of the Revised Penal Code, Article 3, Paragraph 22 of the Constitution on Ex Post Facto Prohibition, and Article 4 of the Civil Code that laws shall have no retroactive effect unless the contrary is provided. In Article 21 of the Revised Penal Code, no felony shall be punishable by any penalty 
not prescribed by law prior to its commission. And Article 22 is the exemption from that general rule. It says that penal law shall have a retroactive effect in so far as they favor the convict, although final sentence have been imposed and serving the same. The third characteristic is territoriality, which makes the law apply to all crimes committed within the limits of Philippine territory with very few exceptions. It is based on Article 2 of the Revised Penal Code, which says that the code shall apply within the Philippine archipelago, including its atmosphere, interior waters, and maritime zone. However, again, this is subject to international law and laws of preferential application. Under Article 2 also, there are five crimes committed abroad that are indictable here. There are crimes committed here that cannot be prosecuted because the offender is protected by preferential laws. We'll discuss more on Article 2 in succeeding episodes, including the incident where the Philippine ambassador mistreated her domestic helper. What are examples of the application of the characteristics? First, generality. A foreigner killed his kababayan in the Philippines. Philippine law will still apply, even if they are foreigners. Not their own penal law, because the crime was committed in the Philippines. Territoriality. In the example of the foreigner killing his kababayan, our penal law will apply because the crime was committed here. So it's a little bit confusing, but what will help you clarify matter? The foreigner who killed his kababayan in the Philippines is sojourning in the Philippines. So the generality applies. In territoriality, that foreigner will be prosecuted here because the crime was committed here, territoriality. Prospectivity. The penalty for homicide, for example, is maximum of 20 years. The judge cannot add one day to the penalty because Article 21 says that no penalty shall be imposed if there is no law imposing it. There is no law that imposes 20 years and one day to homicide. Only 20 years. Courts cannot increase the penalty without authority of law. That is ex post facto. What is the exception to prospectivity? Article 22 says that beneficial law shall be applied retroactively. So, when the law on illegal possession of firearm was amended by the Revilla law, Robin Padilla benefited because his sentence was drastically reduced and he was released from prison earlier than, us than usual. So, the characteristics of penal law actually affects the accused's con acquittal, conviction, or exemption from criminal liability. Next episode, we will be discussing another exciting topic for we will talk about the different kinds of penal laws. For example, how different is a felony from an offense? Or crimes under the revised penal code and crimes under special penal laws. Can a municipal, city, or provincial council enact also a penal ordinance?